Hi, my name is Karen Shunork. I'm the Vice President of Regulatory and Government Affairs for Relativity Space. As the VP for Regulatory and Government Affairs, I have the honor of leading our Washington, D.C. based team. Relativity's team is focused on a number of different aspects for the company. So in the near term, we're you know introducing ourselves to a lot of folks. The company is only five years old, so we're spending a lot of time explaining what it is, um, bragging about our additive manufacturing, which is a really exciting aspect of um, the company. It's a defining, innovative aspect of the company. Um, but we're also thinking about what the long term looks like. How do we engage in these public-private partnerships? How do we set the stage of policy um, that promotes the most sustainable outcomes in space? How do we ensure that licensing and permitting approaches are continuing to um, allow for and um, promote innovation? How are we engaging today in conversations about airspace utilization, orbital debris policies, space situational awareness? What does it look like to have a good governance of space activities in the long term? So there are issues that we engage in that affect you know, our bottom line and our business interests here at Relativity on a regular basis, but there are also much bigger longer term um, questions that we get to, to talk about and to engage in that are for the betterment of the overall um, space economy. We're really interested in making sure that the government understands that the services that we provide are of value to the government, that they're innovative, that they are fulfilling a future need that the government will have. So it means that we want to understand that the government's going to have a long-term needs that we can move to fulfill, as well as, of course, our commercial customers, which is the majority of our customers, but that also, as the government's thinking about its future needs, right, planning missions multi-years out, that we will be a provider for launch services ready and willing to provide that service to the government in a manner that fulfills its needs.